we're so excited to have you joining us for Stuart Little at Festival Theater. I just wanted to take a few minutes to ask you some questions. Great. I can't wait to answer your questions. <laughs> Great. Uh, so just to start out, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hey, everybody. My name is Ryan Stevens, as you can see. I am a playwright and director, originally from South Carolina. I've done a lot of work there and some work in California where I went to grad school. I've had a few other pieces performed here and there across the country. And now I'm very excited to finally be working at a theater that I've been a longtime fan of, which is St. Croix Festival Theater with you all. I've been seeing shows here for about two years now, and I can't believe I finally get to work on one and work on one with all of you. So this is very, very cool. Uh, what are some things you like to do in your free time? Um, I do a lot of reading. I have been really taking this uh, staying at home time to catch up on all my book reading, which I haven't done for fun since really I started going to school. <laughs> um, I do a lot of uh, writing, obviously. I play a lot of video games uh, because I am both an adult and 12 at the same time. Uh, I've really mastered the balance. Um, I, when I live in a place that allows it, I like to do with some like walking and gentle hiking uh, through nature trails and stuff when it's, you know, not super hot or super cold. I'm picky. Um, but other than that, <laughs> I'm a pretty uh, open to most things person. My hobbies are very sedentary, like I said, reading and doing things with a screen. <laughs> Tell us real quick, what are some of your favorite video games? Oh boy, that's a tough one. Um, favorite, maybe maybe not, but in terms of most hours spent, uh, Mario Kart is definitely up there. Um, and Animal Crossing, very gentle games. Uh, if anyone has played the game Stardew Valley in which you are a farmer and that's basically it, uh, that's a fun one that I've spent over 100 hours in. And Great. I don't regret it. <laughs> So now we know you a little better. We're basically best friends. Everybody. Will you tell us just a little bit about your vision for Stuart Little? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think Stuart Little is really interesting because for me at least, I didn't really think of him as this big cultural character. I know I knew of him from the movie where he's a little mouse, um, you know, the CGI movie that came out when I was a child. I thought that, that that was kind of it for him, but knowing that it's adapted from a book and that there's been several like different versions of Stuart Little over the years, he's this kind of like folk hero, like Johnny Appleseed or um, I don't know, Superman might be taking it a little far, but there are different versions of him, like, like Peter Pan or someone that just keeps showing up over and over because he's just really nice i think Stuart little's defining characteristic is his decency and he is just a nice little mouse boy who always wants to do the right thing and help other people um which is you know not always a person's first thought uh in the world we have plenty of people who are not as nice as Stuart little out there and so to see someone who's you know one looks like a mouse and has to act like that and be tiny and that's very fun and two, that his defining characteristic is just being like good um, is really, really interesting. And I think that that is why the character is so beloved and has lasted so long. And Stuart is just surrounded by like this ensemble of characters, true characters, not just in the sense of they are characters, but they have these big personalities and they just surround him and lift him up or tear him down. Mm -hmm. And we have so many people playing those roles and playing lots of different roles and being different people. So that's going to be very exciting. Very exciting for yeah, me. It's, it's going to be so much fun. So we are moving this to an audio play when it was originally going to be a fully staged production. Can you tell us just a little bit about your thoughts going into audio play mode? Sure. I listen to a lot of um like podcasts and audio fiction uh just because it's something that i can enjoy while i'm also working at the same time um and getting a lot of stuff done and i think the the fun thing about audio like with reading a book is that your imagination does lots of the visual aspect to it you really get to decide how everything looks and how everything feels and what the shape of it all is so while i am you know gutted that we can't all 
stage it and have the big set and have everyone in fun costumes like we all surely want to. I am excited to get to have everyone make their own costumes and sets and big worlds in their minds while we're making this together. I think that's really, really fun and a real strength of audio as a medium is to encourage that imagination. Uh, I think that's what the best theater does anyway. It's when we are all in the dark room and we're inviting the audience to buy into this fantasy we're giving them. We're inviting them to, yes, pretend that this person is actually the size of a mouse and yes, pretend that this person is a bird. And it's a lot more fun when we're all on the same page up here. So the audio ability to sort of cut through the middleman of the staging and get you know, directly into our brain through our ears, um, as I do some charades over here to <laughs> illustrate my point, is really, really cool. And it gives the story a more personal feeling because you listen to something and you go, this is just how it is for me up here. And this is my version of it. And that is really, really special. Before you go, let's do some rapid fire questions. Great. <laughs> Favorite color? Green. Favorite animal? Dog. Favorite food? Pizza. Favorite restaurant in St. Croix Falls? Oh, 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 no, oh, no, what's it called? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, what's it called? The Mexican food place next to the place with Donkey Kong on it. What is the name of this restaurant? It is called... Loco. Oh, Favorite rainy day movie. Favorite rainy day movie? The Notebook. I don't know if it's true, but I said it. Have you ever seen The Notebook? Yes, I've seen The Notebook. Favorite TV show. Favorite TV show. The first gut response is "Who wants to be a millionaire?" That can't be true. Uh, cheers. Favorite play you've ever directed. My favorite play I've ever directed, it was called She Kills Monsters. It was about Dungeons and Dragons. We built a dragon. Um, we built a bunch of monsters out of like cardboard and pipe cleaner. It was great. What are you most excited about for directing Stuart Little? Meeting all the cool people. Um, that sounds like a canned answer, but I promise it's not. I think the, my favorite part about directing theater in general is meeting a bunch of other cool people and getting to hear how their brains work and see how they think about stuff. And that's the fun part for me. So that's the answer. Rapid. Great. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for talking to us for a little bit, Ryan. And we're so excited to see you through the power of the interwebs. Of course. I can't wait to virtually see everybody and work with everybody. It's going to be so much fun.